Hey everyone, welcome to the video that's going to explain to you why you shouldn't reinstall Windows on your Dell laptop, on any of your Dell laptops. For what you call bloatware, Dell likes to call Dell solutions. Now, usually I'd agree with those of you who say bloatware is pointless, useless, you don't really need it, so and so. However, the solutions or bloatware that Dell provide on their machines are actually very useful. I'm gonna walk you through them and tell you why they're useful and why you should be using them. So the easiest way to access all your Dell applications that Dell provide, simply go into the search bar on the bottom and type in My Dell. This will launch the My Dell application, which will, in essence, give you everything you need to know about your Dell product. On here, you can get useful information like Explore, which essentially gives you the options of uh, customizing your machine and giving you your system health checks, etc. Things like that that you might find useful. And also along the right hand side, you'll find information such as your model number for your machine, your service tag for your laptop and your express service tag. Your warranty information is also located on here as well, so you can register your system, register your warranty and extend your warranty if you wanted to, all within this My Dell applications, which is already pre-installed on your machine. If you click on the support button right down here on the bottom right, it will actually run a full diagnostics for your machine. So if at any point your device stops working or a driver goes missing or a driver just starts misbehaving, click on that bottom right hand corner and then your machine will start doing its thing for you. This means for anyone that's not that tech savvy, this will be your greatest friend and a great tool for you to use. Software, this essentially just tells you the basic softwares that come installed on pretty much every single Microsoft uh, OS device. But here's the part that Dell provides you that actually works out very useful. On the top right, if you click on cinema, you'll be given a few options. However, on the Dell XPS 13, because it has a higher class display, a best in class display as they like to put it, it will give you only two options. Dolby Vision, which I'm hoping all of you know what that is. If you haven't, I'll make another video on it if it's required. And Cinema Sound. Cinema Sound essentially allows the user to pretty much set up their sound how they want it to be. And can I just say this? Waves have done a great job with the configuration of the audio for this machine. If you play any content on here, it feels like it's surrounding you. You can play around with the bass, the detail, the width of the content that you're playing back. You can even play around with your equalizers. Once you've played around with your equalizers, if there's a format or a setting that you like, you can then just save a preset if you wanted to just by clicking on the floppy disk on the bottom right hand corner. If you click on the playback icon, which is the middle one, there's something called Waves NX. Now, NX is a great tool and it's something that I really love using. If you have any pair of headphones, it will essentially give you a 360 degrees surround sound experience. Now, if you actually activate your camera by doing camera tracking right over here, it can actually sense which way your head is turning and give you that feedback depending on what your camera is picking up on. Some of you may not like this feature just because it means it's turning your camera on, but trust me, the experience that you get from it is unparalleled to anything else I've used. Finally, you have your voice settings over here. The voice settings is pretty cool. What it does is, well, what it does is pretty simple. It's noise cancellation, but it actually identifies where you are and it tracks you with your movement so if I move around the computer the blue bar will actually move around with me to allocate where I am and then noise cancel everything else outside of my vocal range so that's cinema sound cinema color essentially gives the user the ability to choose the right settings for the content that they're watching movies meaning you'll have brighter display, a bit more saturation. You've got evening, which essentially will bring down the brightness, reduce the blue light effects, so it ensures that when you're watching content in the evening, it's not as harmful to your eyes. You've got sports mode and animation. Animations essentially just makes the colors pop completely. So when you are watching cartoons, 
it just looks much better. You can click on edit and actually move around everything to your preference or you can just press the default button if you've managed to somehow mess the settings up. However, on the test footage that you're seeing, you won't see any changes happening. That's because the Dell Cinema function actually changes the panel settings. So that's why when I'm doing a screen recording application, you're not seeing any change because a screen recorder can't pick up on the changes that are being made physically to the panel. That's a great bit of innovation technology right there. And then finally, you have Smart Byte technology, which is Cinema Stream. Now, on the Dell XPS 13 9300, you don't get this as an option. That's because it has the killer wireless card built into it, so it doesn't need the option. So Cinema Stream using Smart Byte technology, essentially you can tell your computer, well, at default it's set to auto, so that means it will detect what you're doing, it will see what's in front of screen, and then it will use the clever algorithm to then allocate your bandwidth. However, if for example, you're watching Netflix, but you're downloading something in the background, and you want your priority to go to the download, you can tell your computer to prioritize your bandwidth for your downloads rather than your streaming service and that works for gaming and well streaming services as well so if you're streaming something but you're downloading something in the background you can tell your machine to focus on the streaming content rather than the download so it gives you complete control over what your bandwidth is being used for that's coming into your computer again it's giving you the user more control over your laptop so if you do a fresh install on your machine and remove all these cool features you're doing yourself a disservice. Dell are providing you solutions, not bloatware, as most people would like to call it. And finally, my favorite feature, which is a feature that I actually use very often, um, on the right, left-hand side over here, you can click on the final dot, which will show you Dell Mobile Connect, or simply go onto your search bar and type in Dell Mobile Connect. Now, it pretty much does what it says on the tin. It connects your mobile phone to your Dell laptop. And it gives you cool features like getting your notifications from your phone onto your laptop. So, for example, my phone's right here. If we quickly click on here, I can see all my notifications that have come through. So my WhatsApp messages, my Facebook messages, my Instagram messages, everything is being listed off over here. I can click on phone and actually initiate a phone call if I wanted to. There's a dialer available and I can check my messages, I can go into files, I can drag and drop files from my machine and also if I wanted to, if I click on the final icon on the bottom, I can actually screen mirror as well. Allow access and as you can see, if I now maximize my screen, it will pretty much mirror everything that I'm doing. Now you're going to find your own way of how you can utilize this technology and like I said, it's a great tool to have. It works in landscape, works in portrait. Honestly, it's a tool that I use very often. Usually when my phone is low on battery and I need to put it on charge, so I usually just put it on charge and just continue using my phone on here as normal. Finally, the newest feature that Dell have added to their devices, it's called Dell Cinema Guide. It's not fully ready for the UK, however, it's still usable. Uh, it's mainly utilized for the US at the moment. So if anyone from the US is watching this video right now, this is a great tool for you and you are gonna love it. Essentially, do you remember, well, if you're under the age of 25, most likely none of you are gonna remember, a TV guide. A TV guide used to be something that you'd have at home or on your TV which would tell you everything that's on TV for the upcoming weeks, right? Imagine that on your laptop now. And imagine that showing you everything across all your different streaming platforms and your network platforms. All you have to do is simply sign up. You don't need to log into any of your accounts or anything like that. Just sign up, tell them what services you have. So for example, do you have Netflix? Do you have Amazon Prime? Do you have uh, Disney Plus, HBO, etc. so and so? Tell them what you have and then it will list off everything for you. And then from here, you can see what's available for you to watch, what's free for you to watch. It will tell you what episodes are available, when episodes come out, when they're due to come out. You can even track episodes. This tool right here is so useful. Again, I can't 
tell you enough the useful tools that Dell are providing to the users. So that is Dell Cinema Guide. So just to wrap it up very quickly, you have Dell Cinema, which is Cinema Sound, Cinema Color, and Cinema Stream. Dell Mobile Connect, which allows you to connect your mobile phone to your laptop and essentially use your mobile phone on your laptop. So you don't really need your mobile phone on you. And finally, number three, Dell Cinema Guide. A great useful tool for anyone that watches a lot of media content. If you're not using these like services or these tools already, I advise you to start using it. And I 100% advise you to stop reinstalling a fresh version of Windows on your Dell machines because the solutions that they're providing you is not bloatware. It's Dell solutions. So peace out and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.